This is a quick tutorial to show you how to use fonts in Photoshop Elements. I've actually got version 6 here, but it could be obviously for 5 or 7 or 8 or whatever. Uh, it's also on a PC, same approach basically is for Macs as well. Right, just going to go to the my folder here, and I'm actually just going to show you the true type font, polka dots. It's pack 105 from Graphic Extras. Now, um, there's many fonts obviously on the web, so this could be any true type font. So I'm just going to right click on that, open with, and depending on how your system set up, you'll see various options here, but on mine it's Windows Font Viewer. Right, click on that, then click install, we'll install the font. I say we'll put that into the, you can also use the control panel, so you can actually go to say start, control panel, and you will see fonts there as well, and you can install it via there. But this is, I find, the quickest, easiest way to do it. And then click Install, and it will come up and ask you, but I've already pre-installed it, so I'm not going to obviously go that safe, but you, that's how you would actually install it. Right. Now, start up Photoshop Elements. So once that's started, click on the horizontal type tool, and then look through the list of all the fonts, and you'll see GX105 polka dots. 01 so it's in there now in that font list right set the font size all the various things also the color if you wish to say like have a light red color for the font black just make it clearer and then type the characters so like a a lowercase you know, whatever there's various many different designs in the set so just that was the w so I'm just gonna click there and drag that over and then resize it so I can actually resize the design uh, of course you can go to layer duplicate layer if you wish you can actually duplicate the layer so you can create another one just quickly create a uh, if you're using Photoshop instead of Photoshop elements you can actually also uh, use it to define um, brushes patterns maybe even convert it into a custom shape so I'm just going to delete that layer yep you can actually see it here. There's the layers and there's the W layer here. So you've actually got the design here. Right. Next thing to do, you can do apply effects. Basically it's just so just bring up the effects menu and you can click on that. And then click apply. Okay, apply. Apply. And of course there's many other ones. The graphic effects. Click on that, apply. And you can go for all the various effects, bevels, apply, and so on and so on. Right, just going to delete that. Then I'm just going to go to type another character. So that's another design. Resize that. There. And then you can also go to the filters menu. And say apply effects like Gaussian blur so you can actually blur the effects of course you can undo that you can actually flatten the image so you can actually make it part of the uh, the layer you can actually go to if you wish you can then go to each of the individual designs just use the selection tools quick selection tool and select the polka docs you wish maybe color different uh, parts of the design use the brush tools so you select brush tool quickly this is very quickly obviously but you can just recolor the designs if you wish there's many other things you can do with the uh, things obviously you can use the fills and those sort of things or apply patterns to the uh, polka dot designs if you wish again like via the effects menu would be another way of doing it Right, that's a quick, simple way of using the uh, uh, fonts to create uh, many different designs in Photoshop Elements. I say you can, once you've got that, you can uh, combine it with the actual. Now I've just done it fairly rough and ready, but uh, that's an approach you can uh, use for that. Like, I just quickly apply effect, a like lens flare or something. So, bang, just do that. All right, so that's the quick tutorial on fonts and Photoshop Elements.